What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and also the last episode of creating the stylized weapon in Blender series. In this video we're gonna cover both camera and light setup and also animated as you see it now. So if you want to learn the tricks, keep watching the video. First of all let's add a background for our weapon, press shift A and add a plane. Then let's scale it up a little bit maybe that's enough then press tab to go to edit mode and select the edge select mode and select this edge here then press e and z to extrude it along z axis select this loop cut here and let's bevel it by pressing ctrl b and you can control the number of segments by scrolling down and up your middle mouse button and let's give it a nice smooth shape that's good, press tab to go to object mode and right click then shade smooth to make it smoother. Then we have a nice smooth background for our weapon. So let's give it a texture as well, come to the shading tab and select this plane here and click on new. And let's make the base color darker all the way to black. I think it's good now and we can maybe make it a little bit bluish something like this and also let's increase a little bit its roughness just a little bit not so much then come back to the layout tab and let's add the camera for our scene press shift a and add a camera and you see the camera is added here let's grab it and bring it somewhere like this bring it a little bit backwards and maybe upwards then if you press zero on numpad it will show you the camera view or the last render view of your work so it's so important to find the correct positions for our camera but if you want to rotate your camera it will go out of the camera view and it can be a problem for the ones who just started the blender and to fix it you can lock the camera to viewport and by locking the camera to view it will be much easier to control your camera view press n and this menu will open up to you and come to the view tab and enable the lock camera to view and then press zero again and if you navigate on the world if you rotate the world the camera view will also be rotating as you rotate in the world then it will be so useful for you to set up and find the correct position for your camera and by default the camera ratio is 19 to 20 in 1080 but I'm gonna change it to 32 40 in 40 50 it's my favorite ratio then you can press N again to close up this panel and you can find the correct position for your camera and after finding the correct position for your camera we're gonna work on light setup and also the animation part i think something around this may be good for us yeah it's good and you can disable this locking camera to view when you're done with the camera and when you rotate in the world it will go out of the camera world again and let's split the viewport to two to having the camera view here to seeing what's going on in the world and you can come to the corner of your viewport and click and drag it to left and you'll see that it's splitting into two views you can control it as you like then in this viewport let's press t to hide this toolbox menu and press zero on numpad to show the camera view and you can press home button to fit the camera view to the screen and now we have the camera here and let's change it to render view and we're gonna see what's happening in the last render so let's add lights press shift a and add a light i'm gonna start with point light then you can grab it and move it a little bit higher and then maybe we can press 7 to go to the top of the graphic view and change the locations from here easily then we're gonna increase the strength of power of this light 
you can select the light and come to this menu the lighting menu here and let's increase the power to maybe something like 600 and you'll see the light is going to be filled here and maybe we can change the color to something like orange an orangish color i like this color that's so good and then we can press 7 again to go to top or to graphic view and let's duplicate it by pressing shift d and bring it somewhere like this on the, onto the left side of the weapon and maybe we can change the color to blue something bluish somewhere around this will do for us and we can play with the lights the position of lights to control to have more control over the scene i think it's good for here and let's change the position of the orange color maybe it should be come somewhere like this and also let's change the color a little bit too and maybe we can increase the power to somewhere like 700 and and let's add another light press shift a and on the light tab you can select the area light and you can see it's here and maybe we can press r and x to snap it to the x axis then press 180 to rotate 180 degrees on the x axis and let's increase the power to somewhere around 100 and you see that it's happening here and we can scale it a little bit maybe drag it a little bit higher i think it's good now or you can if you're not satisfied with this result you can play with the colors you can play with the materials or even lights to have better results than this but i'm gonna go on with this result i really liked it and i think it's even better than the one which i've created for this video which you saw in the beginning of the video so let's go to the animation part by default you see the timeline here you can click it and drag it a little bit higher to open up this timeline part and for this video we just need 100 frames so we don't need the other parts so we can change the end frame to 100 to not have the extra frames here so come to the first frame and let's animate the weapon select the weapon and start to rotate them but when you rotate them you'll see that the parts are rotating individually and not together in the same time and it can be a problem for us for solving it you should parent objects together select the object and in the end select the main object that you want to be parented then let's select all of the objects here and in the end you should select this i'm gonna parent all of them to the blade and select the blade at the end then press ctrl and p and this menu will open up the reads for parenting objects and select the object and now if you rotate the blade the other parts will be rotating as well but as you see some parts are left here we should parent them to to the blade as well you see these parts are left let's parent them to again select all of them and then parent them to the blade i'm gonna parent them to the blade for this video but you can choose any objects you want to be parented for example you can parent all of them to the handle or to any objects you want but for this video as i said i chose blade to be the main object for for this video and now all of the parts are parented to our blade here and when i rotate the blade the other parts will be rotating as well so let's animate it and for animation you'll need keyframes for adding keyframes the hotkey is i if you select an object and press i it will show you lots of keyframes here that you can work with them but for this video we're gonna work with the rotation part then in the first frame select the blade and i and click on rotation to add a rotation keyframe to our weapon then come to the last frame frame 100 and press r and z to snap it to z axis and type 360 then press ok and again press i and rotation 
to add a rotation keyframe to our weapon. Now if you play your animation, you'll see that it's seamless animation that's rotating in the world. But we have an issue here, as you saw, it's going to stop at the end. And to fix it, you can select the keyframes, all of the keyframes, and right click here. And on the interpolation mode, you should change the interpolation type to linear. And if you play your animation now, you'll see that it's soft and seamless animation. And that's it. This series is done here. I hope you've learned something from this series. And if you want to learn more about Blender and fun stuff in Blender, just make sure to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell in the case of not missing any new videos. Stay tuned. See you on the next video.